Well, welcome everybody. This is Kelly Fasterling and I have a treat for us today. I have Aaron Robinson with me. Aaron has been a realtor in town here for over 15 years and he is quite a successful realtor. He is has a relentless commitment to his clients and he's just absolutely amazing to work with. And I am truly, truly excited that I will, Aaron, be working a lot more closely with you. Oh, it's an honor to be here with you today, Kelly. I'm 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 in good company today. I appreciate you. Oh, very good. Very good. Well, you're a Colorado Springs native. You raised your family here. You love this area, an avid mountain biker. You are you and Tasha are prepping for a really big change in your life. Tell tell us about that. Oh my goodness. I'm 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 a crazy person. You, you want to hear this? I want to hear. Yeah. So I've had so much fun with this little bomb of information. Uh, so we, uh, and this is part of our, my transition to EXP. We'll talk about that here in a minute, I'm sure. Uh, but we made the decision to move our family to South Carolina. So, uh, which is, I mean, it sounds really crazy. Uh, there's a lot of good reasons why we're doing that. But um, yeah, we're going to be moving 24 hours driving <laughs> from our city. Uh it, uh, with kids in tow, it'll be great. <laughs> oh, it'll be great. It'll yeah. be great. It's exciting. Yeah. You know, tell me, what about South Carolina excites you? Well, you know, I, I did. I grew up here in Colorado Springs, uh, in Old Briargate on Whitehorn Drive. Uh, you know, I, I remember a time when, you know, everybody knew each other on the street. Uh, we, you know, us kids, we ate dinner at everybody else's houses um like the stove top stuffing commercials man we had that all programmed through the week uh but we we just knew each other um and the the, the town was a lot smaller then but it, it was it wasn't like the population was a lot smaller but there was a more a smaller feel to it and uh i think ever since we've uh ever since we've been moving away from that slowly as a city and i know a lot of people have have had conversations they felt this in our city uh just a, a massive change and um, I, I love Colorado, um, but I'm starting to be in more of the I want to visit here category than I want to live here <laughs> category. So South Carolina kind of rewinds the clock for us. Um, it feels like Colorado uh, Springs used to be um, uh, back in 30, 30 years ago. Uh, and we it's really important to me and really important to my family that we know our neighbors, that we are available to them. And they feel comfortable coming to us, too. That's how I've run my business, too. I've never been someone who pays for uh, leads or anything. Uh, it's all been handshakes. Do you trust me? Do you, Does this feel good working together? Um, and that really doesn't happen unless you really uh, uh, build kind of a, um, an ecosystem around you where everybody is collaborating and sees each other more often. Yes. Absolutely. And, and I know your heart and your business. You've been in real estate since 2006, got your license in, in 2010. When you work with somebody, it's a partnership. You're guiding, you're exploring, you're connected with them. Tell me a bit about your real estate journey because you've had many years in it and you are one of the top peak producers here in Colorado Springs. Well, yeah, I guess that was accidental. I guess there's a sort of a... Um... <laughs> It, it's this action consequence, you know, like, uh, I mean, I think everybody wants to be treated honestly and fairly. And, uh, and, and I, my, my whole thing has always been, uh, be friendly to people. Cause that's how I like to be treated, uh, in a genuine kind of way, not in a forced kind of way. Um, and so ever, uh, so back when I first got into real estate, uh, I was doing property management and, uh, Hats off to property managers. It's one of the hardest jobs out there. I <laughs> it is. <laughs> love, I love my property manager people out there. Uh, but it is a different skill set to me uh, when I was doing that versus uh, when I can actually do the guidance of buying a house, listing a house, and the collaboration that goes there. Uh, when I was a property manager, and, and I should say it was tainted by the fact I was working for a corporation. So I had a different kind of uh, set of expectations that would put on me which then ran downhill to the clients i had to serve and my hands were tied behind my back all the time with whether i was doing things for their interest or for the corporation's interest that i was working mm -hmm. with. so real estate was like it was a natural progression for me because then i was i felt like i was unfettered where i could for the first time serve the my clients the way i 
feel like they should be treated and yeah. and and also be able to uh, change the way I serve them based on what they need specifically for that situation. So and and, and it's 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 the natural evolution because you know property managers that are highly relational um, are gonna it's gonna fall short where you're gonna be saying goodbye to these people all the time and you won't be able to go to the next leg of the journey when they want to start buying a house and and go down that and i felt like i really wanted to go with them whenever they left i was like hey you got to get a house i wish i could help you with that you know so back when i started my license out of property management it was just me just trying to follow people <laughs> because i really wanted to be in their lives still i really I, you know when you know someone's their kids names their pets names um you know what their hopes and ambitions are uh, you just feel super connected to people. And that's why I, that's how I started it way back then. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And when you have journeyed through the growth of a few different brokerages in town, and they've been amazing in your growth, you've now elected to, to partner with EXP Realty and with, with our freedom team. Tell me about that. How does that support you at this point in time? Well, I'll say, I may be one of the few realtors that left uh, my last brokerage in really good terms and love everybody there. It was a really fantastic exit and I can't speak uh, well enough of, of my friends there. Uh, but when I was going to another state, my brokerage was a private brokerage, one. And two, most any brokerage is going to have different leadership in a different uh, state. And they're going to want to, they're going to want to have their, uh, their, their caps or whatever, they need to get paid to run their brick and mortar in that state. EXP is unique in that you can have business in multiple cities and uh, nationally. I mean, I was in a bad situation because when your wife says, I want to move to a different state and you're a realtor, that, <laughs> you know, your knee jerk reaction is that's never going to happen because I am stuck here. There's, I can't go anywhere, you know. My business depends completely on this and the, and this, and the structure, which I'm under depends. I stay here. Uh, so switching over to XP to me was a great switch. It was, was really served me in that I can not only do in this, uh, market, but I, I feel like in the future, there are other markets I want to get into too, that I do have homes in other States as well. So, um, who knows what the possibility is. So that was immediately exciting to me. Exactly. Exactly. Well, and Aaron, you have created immense success in your business over the years. And today in this market dynamic with low inventory, high interest rates, we have a lot of agents just out there struggling. A lot of new agents wondering, especially with this NAR lawsuit coming down, should they yeah. stay in this business? Yeah. If you could go back in time. If you could go back to those early days of your business, knowing what you know now, what would you share with a newer agent about the dynamic of what we have going on now in this market and the wisdom that you could provide? What would you share to them? Yeah, you know, I, I, the main advice I give to anybody uh, that was given to me, so I can't say that I was, I, you know, I discovered this on my own, but uh, early on when I tell people this, they don't like what I'm going to say, but it, it, it's you're not chasing uh, you're not chasing a deal that you're putting together. You're chasing the relationships and you're adding value to those relationships. Because at the end of the day, if you really are honest with yourself, the relationships that you choose to be with add the most value to you, too. We are deep down selfish people. You know, uh, that's not always a bad thing. Uh, so you have to ask yourself, am I valuable to these relationships or am I someone who, when I get in the room, everybody kind of groans because they know I'm going to ask them for something and I'm going to be needy and I'm not going to be even concerned about how I can help the people around me. So right away, I mean, I wouldn't even get into real estate if I didn't feel, for me, if I didn't feel like I was uh, going to be committed to adding value to every relationship I'm going to be with, then don't even get started. It just, it just is not going to get work. It's not going to work out for you. And, uh, and you're, the value that you or the uh, income that you earn is directly proportionate to how many people you bring that value to. So it's going to be really important that you're connected to those circles and not just not, I'm not talking a mile wide and an inch deep 
with zillion, you know zillions of relationships. I think about the the circles that you do choose to go to. Um, people really feel your presence. There's a weight about your presence and how you can affect people around you. And uh, it, you should have at, uh, at least two or three circles that you you run with to to bring that weight. Yeah, yeah. And you're involved in numerous circles. Um, and as you move to South Carolina, you're going to be creating new circles. Um, how do you leverage those circles? How do you best connect inside those circles to provide value and to create a business for you? Yeah, I, I would say um, one of the things that's really important when you pick whoever, whichever room you're going to be in, you're really going to want to find somebody that also has that value, uh, that they they themselves have have found a way to bring value to to those circles and and they're giving and they want to share that which they they've received and that they're giving as well. Uh, so when I, I know when I go out there, I'm going to be looking. I've already found somebody out there. Uh, another realtor like I, already i was looking at the realtors because i know the ones i like and i know the ones i don't like there's a type you know uh and so i've already been sh shaking hands with those people and and when you find those people they know those people so uh, yeah. it's just like okay take me on your seven day run well, you know who are you meeting <laughs> you know and i want to i want to meet your friends uh, yeah. i want to meet your relationships and and uh not to take away from what they're doing but to hopefully add um, add more value to their presence uh, because of who I am. I want to. I want to prop them up too. Uh, right. so I'm, I'm going to be looking for that here in the next market. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's going to be an, abs an absolute adventure for you moving into a new market, resetting your business, starting from scratch. And you know what? We're going to swing back and we're going to interview again because you're going to tell people how do you get started in a new new market. <laughs> it will be amazing. Yeah, maybe this is a book in the making. We'll see what happens. But, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, and in your, your journey, you've been a solo agent, an independent agent. You've been on a team. You're now partnered with EXP where you can kind of take that team concept, potentially, if, if you care to, into yep. a more virtual team concept. Talk about the pros and cons of solo team, what helped, what, what hindered. How, how did that approach work for you, both of those approaches? I think any team leader is going to come up against this fine line of how do I make money yet I, I don't steal from the people that are on my team. Mm -hmm. uh, EXP is unique in that you're going to be able to recruit people and you have the choice of whether or not you need to charge those agents or whether or not you just enjoy the benefit of them producing and then you still you're still going to get a piece of that just by virtue of the structure that EXP is built. Mm -hmm. So right away that takes a lot of pressure off somebody who's just trying to recruit, mm -hmm. um, because it it's it's a really it's tough because you not only got to keep those agents happy, but you know you, you you're gonna you're gonna feel this tension of if I pour too much if I put a lot of into this person, if they get too selfish in the bad way. They're just going to leave, and I've spent all this time for nothing. That's most every brokerage model. Mm -hmm. um, uh, where EXP, it doesn't matter. It's like, hey, we work together. We don't work together. If we work together, great. The synergy can can have a, a ton of benefit. Uh, but if say, no, that's all right. Okay, we're in the same company. I brought you on. That's, you know, that's still a benefit to me, and that, that's okay. I wish you well. Um, but that so that so that's going to be unique for the team model. I always felt that tension. <laughs> you know? um, right. Yeah, you, you train and, and you hope people will be um, loyal, but you know this doesn't always work out that way. Well, and as as team leads, as we train people, our goal is to to grow them up so they can be independent. And yeah, yeah. in this model, they can be independent and do their own thing. Whereas in other brokerage models, typically they leave. They they go make their own team somewhere and they, they come out from under you and you spent a lot of time and yeah. effort. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, exactly, exactly. What are you excited about most as you and Tasha move forward? Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I think going to, um, <laughs> I, this never happened to me. So this is going to be kind of unique. I, I can only speak to 
you know, my, my whole life I've gone to the same elementary, middle school, and high school. It's like High Plains, Challenger Middle School, Rampart High School. Like, I never moved. I had military parents. I don't know why, you know, for by virtue of them doing T- TDYs or, you know, whatever, to stay in this city, I never had to move. Um, I was in the same house the whole time. Uh, so, I don't know. If there's somebody else that <laughs> comment below, if you're another brat that never had to move for 20 years, because that's crazy. But anyway um anyway we so but because of that i don't know what it's like to go to a new school other than when you graduate high school and you know you kind of get your taste of college and i i I don't know about you but like when i went to college it was so freeing because all the letter jackets went and everybody is judged based on just who they are like it's like you don't even have to dress a certain way anymore you just you just like if you have a personality or a kind person, you'll do well <laughs> in that new environment. Right. Um, I'm kind of excited about like stripping away, I guess, the letter jacket of native Colorado Springs guy, you know, uh, just, you know, and, and being a totally new person. Like I want to start start fresh and and just let people judge me for uh, just what they see, not based right. on any pretense. Right. Well, and what I know of you in the four-year association that we've had, they're going to love what they see. You shine through who you are, and it's it's a gift to be in association with you, Aaron. Uh, thanks, Kelly. No. I'm going to call you, uh, you know, after I move and I, you know, maybe have a bad day. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, give me some of that. <laughs> none, none of the kids like me at school, Kelly. <laughs> well, it's funny. I my dad was also Air Force. And okay. we moved to England, Germany, California, yep. Pennsylvania before we landed here when I was 10. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Was a journey. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll have to get more of that history. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it feels like to be a new girl. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. New girl at every school. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, Aaron, I I totally appreciate you joining me today. Tell me, what else might you want to share with everyone today? Well, I, I do want to say uh, that um, I I don't have a disdain for Colorado. In fact, um, because I've been here so long, I really, really know Colorado. <laughs> and I know Colorado Springs very well, the Front Range very well. Uh, so I, I do want to continue serving uh, my clients, uh, people who would like that older history uh, kind of informing in, opinion of a realtor. I'm kind mm-hmm. of unique. There's there's a few handfuls of us that are in the business that I grew up here, know Springs and know what it was or, or have been in real estate this long. So yeah. I do want to continue to serve people here. Uh, my intention and have already, I have already begun to start building the team structures so that uh, my presence can be feel, felt not uh, at, at times physically, but always informationally with anybody who's looking to buy or sell here in Colorado Springs. So that's not going away. Um, but I will, but with my family, it's like a military move. My family's in a different city. I'm working in this city and I'm going to be back going back and forth, uh, to serve while I build over there too. Oh, perfect. Well, you have such a presence here. I know in all the circles that you run in, uh, I I know, know how people have high esteem for you with what you have created and generated and who you are. So oh, thanks. I, I'm I'm happy to say I don't have many enemies. That's that's always <laughs> that's a good thing. When you're in the same town this long, I think <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> that's, that's a really good thing. Well, yeah. Aaron, it's been a pleasure. I want to yeah. thank you so much for, for joining me today and for joining me at EXP. I'm very excited about our future. Kelly, thank you so much for the opportunity and, and showing me a, a, a new way that I could serve my family with. This is great. Perfect. You have a beautiful day. You too. Bye, Kelly.